What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and yeah today I'm going to show you guys how I built and designed this little model right here this being a AutoZam AZ-1 so yeah without further ado let's get to it Alright, so jumping right into Bricklink Studio, which is a software you can see right here. I basically began with designing the front end, which is pretty much what I start with on almost all of my models. And this was a point when I realized that the front end that I had, well, you know, to be honest, did not really look too great and wasn't that accurate, so I opted for a pretty much a complete redesign. Uh, mainly, I redesigned the front bumper and I actually made it gray because a lot of AZ1s have this color combo and I just really wanted to recreate it. With the front end pretty much done i then decided to work on the chassis as well as like some mounting bits some inner structural bits and then from there we got the sides going on as well as you know like the front windscreen right here i am working on the c pillars as well as the rear windscreen design and then after that i pretty much moved on to the actual rear end design like you know with the tail lights and the rear bumper And now with everything uh, pretty much done, well, we have the whole car design. I just started working on like a few minor bits here, like the rear wing, as well as some uh, minor cosmetic bits. But yeah, with this done, it's now time to build the car. Alright everybody, so the AutoZam AZ-1 is all finished and it's all built up. And yeah, I guess a little bit of backstory for those of you guys who might not know. Well, basically AutoZam was like a collaboration sort of between uh, Suzuki and Mazda. You know, they're most known for this car right here, which is the AZ-1 because of its uniqueness basically. It was like mid-engine, a K car, which is sort of like just a smaller kind of car segment in Japan. And with a, I think a three cylinder, like a turbocharged three cylinder made by Suzuki. So, you know, a really unique car, probably one of the coolest K cars ever made, which is why I really wanted to make one. Right, so moving on to this specific model, well, it's actually built in six wide, unlike all of my other cars, which are eight wide. But it does make sense because as I said, it's a K car and it actually scales like really realistically with my other eight wide cars. And also it doesn't require as many parts to build, which makes it a much more fun build. And it's also just cheaper to get all the parts, which is another plus. The front bumper up here is fairly simple. It just uses a lot of rail pieces as well as some like clip pieces for the vents. And the headlights are just clipped in with these like one by one clip pieces, which is a fairly unique technique, but also one that I use a lot, especially like in mirrors for like my truck designs. The wheels are also one of my favorite parts of this car. It's got this five spoke design and they're also like in white, which just looks really great with like the red and gray. And it's basically just made with this smaller wheel and tire setup with like a larger tire pressed in and then this five spoke wheel cover also pressed in. I also opted to design this car without mud guards, which are like the pieces that I use on pretty much all my cars to, you know, make of course the wheel wells look like more smooth and clean. But if I would have used mud guards in this car, it would have pretty much interfered with the hood design and just made it like a lot less proportional, which is why I went for like the brick built mud guard kind of look. And then the uh, rear is also just a really elegant design. It's got the four round taillights, just a really classic design for like a lot of cars, you know, like the F40, the GTRs. Honestly, I think any car with like the four round taillights automatically looks pretty good. And then the bumper on the bottom has just got like a little vent here, like the real one. And the wing is also a pretty simple design, but it's got these little side pieces that are like clipped in and then like angled. And yeah, that's pretty much enough talking for me. I don't want to make this video way too long because this is going to be a tutorial. Yeah, I haven't made a tutorial in quite a while actually because I've been making a lot of like AY cars and I just haven't made too much videos in a while, but like yeah, that's besides the point. Anyways, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's move on to the tutorial for this car.